Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So the last time we talked about former Biggest Loser trainer Bob Harper was after he had his heart attack. And the reason why we discussed that was because he was formerly a vegan, he quit that to go paleo, and no surprise, after eating all that meat and saturated fat, he had his first heart attack. Well, since then, Bob has ditched the paleo diet and has embraced what he calls the super carb diet. Bob said he fell into this caveman paleo diet because of the CrossFit community, which you may or may not know, low carb paleo diets are quite popular amongst CrossFitters. However, as Bob said, if you pretty much eliminate or severely restrict one of the three macronutrient groups, in this case carbohydrates, it's not sustainable. He found his body, his mind, desiring certain carbohydrates still. So instead of living the rest of his life restricting and therefore craving carbohydrates, he started adding carbohydrates back into his diet to see if anything bad happened, like you know, with all the myths that you hear from paleo people. In fact, he found quite the opposite. In fact, in another article on Pop Sugar, he debunks three of the most common myths about carbs, myths that are quite popular in the paleo community, like carbs make you fat, that you really shouldn't eat much of any fruit, and that protein is way better for you than carbs. Bob's made some television and online appearances as well. In this one, he pretty much summarizes his debunking of how carbs don't make you fat. In fact, carbs are good for you. I want you to be able to uh, look at your plate and uh, say to yourself, where's my protein, where's my fat, where's my carbs at every single meal and not be afraid of carbs. I think that people, I think carbs have gotten a really bad rap. I mean, there's, there's bad carbs out there, which we all know about. I call it garbage in the book, but uh, it, it, don't be afraid of, I don't want to do a diet that tells me I can't eat an apple. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So tell the world, Bob, what are the good carbs that we should all be eating? You know, it's, of course, it's all the fruits, all, all the vegetables that we know about, all the complex carbohydrates, whole grain breads, uh, pastas that are out there. Sounds great to me. I'd say just add in some potatoes and you have the foundations of a high carb diet right there. And even though Bob's not promoting veganism anymore, strangely, people are still obsessing about protein. For him, like, where do you get your protein? Let's watch him debunk the protein myth. Everyone's saying to, my, saying to me, where are you getting your protein? Where are you getting, your protein is just like being just bombarded everywhere. It's like, so it's like where people keep saying, where's your protein, where's your protein? I'm trying to get them to change their way of um, speaking and say, where's the balance, where's the balance? And uh, so that's why I really focus more on um, all the vegetables. And I know that the protein's going to come. It's like, I don't really set a, um, a guideline of just how much protein I should be having. I completely agree with Bob there. Yes, I don't calculate how much protein I get for every meal, every day. As long as I'm getting enough calories and having enough diversity of plants, I'm getting more than plenty of protein. And furthermore, let's take a look next at what does Bob actually eat? He gives us a few clues here. I just want to eat clean. I want to eat less processed. I want to eat more plant-based. I want to eat you know, tons of vegetables. Again, sounding good to me. Let's see what he eats for a typical meal. Last night, my dinner was, I made this whole cannellini bean with uh, a bunch of peppers and squash and, and you know, that, that was my meal. And it was like, the protein is going to be the, the beans, of course. But like, I'm just looking at more of a balance as opposed to just like, I need protein. So far, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with Bob saying. I agree with pretty much everything he's been saying this whole interview so far. However, things took a weird turn for me personally when I looked at one of these Pop Sugar interviews with Bob about his super carb diet, and they showed a typical day of what it's like to eat on his super carb diet. So let's look at breakfast here. Scrambled egg whites with spinach, with a toasted whole grain muffin and some avocado. Notice how there's only really one really high carb, super carb item on there. That would be the whole grain muffin. I mean, you got a lot of fat in the egg whites, plenty of fat in the avocado. Spinach, yeah, there's carbs there, but it's really not that many calories and greens to count as much. For lunch, again, a bunch of fat. We got chicken, and um, almonds, and you got some carbs in the way of the veggies, but again, not a lot of calories from carbs there. For dinner, an extra big salad. Again, that, there's gonna be carbs in the greens there, but again, not a lot of calories from greens. And again, more fat here from the chicken burger, and you get some carbs from his whole grain bun. Okay, that's a high carb item. The floater meal is just all fat. 
Greek yogurt with some nut butter? So yeah, that left me pretty confused. This super carb diet seemed to be pretty much a high fat diet. At best, maybe it's like 45% calories from carbs. Yeah, I could try to punch this up in chronometer, but I don't know how many grams of each thing he ate, but it really, he's just at best having like one high carb item with each meal. So hopefully just pop sugar just randomly selected a, a really high fat day in his Woody ate in a day diet plan. And something that's a little bit troubling too is considering that Bob has a, has a history of heart disease, that he's still um, putting eggs in his breakfast plan here. I know it's egg whites, it doesn't have the yolk as well, but still, eggs are not known to be healthy for your heart. So hopefully Bob will eliminate that. Just hopefully Bob will realize, just really embrace a true high carb diet. Get rid of all this chicken and egg stuff and just eat plants like he used to eat, like how we currently, we're really eating high carb. We're doing the super carb diet here, if anything, with keep it carb, baby. I mean, every meal in here is full of, you know, it's high carb. So we, we got other stuff too. We're not obsessed with carbs or protein or fat. It's all in here, but yeah. I think um, he needs to to um, walk his walk, talk his uh, talk his talk a little bit better there about carbs and really promote meals that are truly high in carbs, not high in fat still. But anyway, it's a good start. It's just good to see someone who was formerly paleo, you know, distant vegan diets coming out and saying, don't worry about protein. Um, fruit doesn't make you fat. Carbs don't make you fat. So this is a win. Yeah, it's always, always there's always an asterisk when vegans get a win in the media, but I'll take it this time. So anyway, post your questions and comments down below. What do you think about this super carb diet of Bob's and how can we convince him just to give up the, all the chicken bits and go fully vegan, fully high carb. So let us know down below. Um, share this video with a friend who's afraid of carbs and hit like if you got something out of this and want to see more videos like this. So until next time guys, I was going to grab the book again but I dropped it. Keep it carved baby, keep it carved. And I'd like to give some big shout outs to our latest supporters on Patreon. From January, we got Carol, Mark, and Jeff. Thank you guys. And from December, we got Gregory, Mahesh, and Kara. Thanks so much for helping us to be able to make this show on the reg. We much appreciate it.